visit me? That was the day a very special new friend came to Strawberry Land. A friend who changed us all. Of course, we didn't know about that just yet. We were all too busy having fun. Playing at Blueberry Muffin's house, dressing up and being whoever we wanted to be. My plane just like an eagle and I'd bring her safely home. I can be, I can, I can be, I can be, I can be, I can, I can be, I can be, whoever I want to be, whatever I want to see, I can be and still be me. I can be a Leonardo painting portraits from the heart, my beret the perfect dangle, every smile a work of art. And I can be an actress in a brilliant stage debut and make a million movies you're on TV too. in the first place rather than the last place, and I'd have found you in the first place first. You said something about news? News? What news? Why am I always the last to hear? Please, please tell me do. But you were going to tell us. Well, no time for that now. I have important news to tell you. We have a new neighbor in Strawberry Land. Delightful young girl like yourselves. That means a new friend. Someone to help me bounce up and just think of the stuff I can build with the two of us working together. Someone to share books with. And there's nothing better to share than a good book. After she comes over to my house and paints beautiful pictures with me. <laughs> <laughs> if she isn't too tired out from our hike in the woods, I suppose we really should meet her first. No time like the present. Present? Oh! We should each bring her a Welcome to Strawberry Land present. Nothing says welcome like a good old heavy-duty ball peen hammer. Unless it's a paintbrush. Or a book. Or a butterfly net. I don't think you'll catch many butterflies that way, Orange Blossom. Oh, I wouldn't want to catch them. I'd just like to pretend. Where's everybody going? A party? Ugh. Oh, sorry, Peppermint Fizz. Why wasn't I invited? It's not a party, Peppermint. We're going to meet a wonderful new neighbor, and you're welcome to join us. Just who is this wonderful new neighbor? We don't know. We haven't met her yet. Well, then how do you know what she's like? We don't. So come, let's meet her and let's find out. Yeah, well, maybe. Okay, I guess. But what if she's not like us, huh? What then? What will we do? If she's not like us, how can we like her? Well, here it is and here are we. What a very beautiful place. Wow! Oh, lovely. Sure is. I like it, I surely do, yes sir. What in the world is that? I never saw anything so ridiculous in all my life. Ahoy! And welcome to Rainbow Float. 
Let me pipe you aboard my house. She lives on a boat? Isn't that just the most all-time neatest thing ever? It's different anyway. Hi, I'm Rainbow Sherbert. I'm Angel Cake, and this is for you. This is for you too. Name's Ginger Snap, like in Snap. And I'm Blueberry Muffin, and I hope you like this. My name's Orange Blossom, and I brought you this. Hi there, I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and welcome to Strawberry Land. And this is Peppermint Fizz. Yeah, right, hi. Hello to you all, and thanks to you all. I was just about to eat. Will you join me for some grub? No way am I eating grubs. No, grub means food. It's a word us boaters use. I see. Sorta. I want everyone to come to my house tomorrow for a party. Am I invited too? You're the guest of honor. It'll be a welcome to the neighborhood Rainbow Sherbert sorta party. I hope you can come. A hurricane couldn't keep me away. To new friends. New friends! Yeah, uh-huh, what, what they said. Ahoy! Ahoy! Welcome, Rainbow Sherbert. What a wonderful house. You must really love it here. Strawberry Land is the very best place to live. I've never met a nicer bunch of people in all the lands where I've set anchor. I'm glad you like everybody, because I'm sure everybody likes you. <coughs> I almost forgot. This is Custard and that. <laughs> well, that's Pupcake. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Here, catch. <laughs> Pupcake is a little shy about underneath places. I'll get it. Hello? Peppermint, I'm so glad you came. I came, but I'm not staying. I just came to tell you one thing. What's that? There's something wrong with the new girl. Wrong? But what? She's different. That's what. Peppermint! The way she lives on a boat and the way she talks? I don't want to be friends with someone like her, and you shouldn't either. Peppermint! And that's all I have to say. <gasps> Peppermint said those awful things? And Rainbow heard? I'm afraid so. Sorry I'm late. I was building an automatic cookie icing machine. Still got a few kinks to work out. Hey, the party's over? Am I that late? It never happened, thanks to Peppermint Fizz. Because she doesn't like Rainbow, and Rainbow heard her say it. But Peppermint doesn't even know her. Somebody needs to have a talk with that girl, and that somebody needs to be me. Then we can all take the party to Rainbow. Rainbow Sherbert heard everything you said. I know you didn't mean for her to hear, but she did. Really? She really did. Good. I'm glad. Peppermint! You're not serious. I really am. You don't even know anything about Rainbow Sherbert. Oh, yeah? Well, I know all I need to know about her. Pretty much. If you truly knew her, well, I'm sure you'd like her a lot. I doubt that. I'm very, very sure. You think? Well... Come on, give her another chance. One more chance. Pass to port. That's it. Double pass to starboard. Perfect. One more time to port. Hiya, 
Rainbow's teaching us a new game. You absolutely have to play. What do you say? Should we give it a try? Great! Starbird, over here! To the port! This way now. Port, port! To port, to port! Throw it to port! To port, you can do it! Port, Peppermint. Port side! This way to port! <laughs> <laughs> no, Peppermint, your other port! This way, that way, port way, overboard, heave ho! Who cares? This is the worst game that ever was! It's so, so, so different! Like her! Ah, uh, come on back, Peppermint Fizz! I'll come back when she's gone. I'm very sorry, Rainbow. I'll go talk to her. Please, Peppermint. You can't judge her so quickly. Give her another chance and find out what she's like inside. Another chance? I could give her a thousand chances and she'd still be her. But, no buts, Strawberry. You want to know the problem with this kid? Not like me, she's not like me. The problem with this kid is that she's not like me. She'd even take this song and sing it differently. But worst of all, she's not like me. Her problem. was so much better than her sailor's pipe And houses should not sail upon the open sea She's much too strange and she's not like me were just like you, the world would be perfect. Rainbow? Hello? I mean, ahoy! Hi, Strawberry Shortcake. Can I help with that? Oh, I've got it. Thanks. Don't you need the anchor to keep you where you are? Not if I'm leaving. But what do you mean? I know Peppermint Fizz isn't happy with me here, and I don't want to come between you and your friends. But, Rainbow... I'm casting off tomorrow morning. Oh, Rainbow, no! This is bad, very, very bad. If I don't think of something, Rainbow Sherbert will be gone forever. I think it's Peppermint who should think of something. All she thinks about is how everyone ought to be more like her. Hurrah! Let me guess. You just thought of something. We have to hurry. Quick, put up the decorations. We're having another party? Yep, we sure are. Rainbow's going away party? Nope. We're staying right here party. <laughs> Could 
Could you please deliver these invitations? And quickly? Thanks! And hurry! Heads up! Port! Got it! Now starboard! Here it comes! to Strawberry's house for a special costume party. But come early and don't bring a costume. I'll have one waiting for you. Dear Peppermint, please come today to Strawberry's home for a special costume party. It's a going away party for Rainbow Sherbert. Wear your favorite costume for the contest. Oh boy, a going away party for Rainbow. <laughs> This is one party I don't want to miss. Dear Rainbow, please don't leave without saying goodbye. Come to Strawberries for a costume party. Well, the river runs not far from her place. Might as well stop in. I just know I'll have the prettiest costume here. I'm so glad you came. But your costume. Come on, join the fun. Strawberry, but you, you're wearing my costume. Oh, this is my costume, and it's exactly like yours. Isn't that great? Yeah, sure, uh-huh, great. Hey, what's going on here? You and you and you are also wearing my costume. We thought about the reasons you didn't like our friend. Who? What? Whose friend? Her house was different, her clothes were different. And we decided if we're all exactly alike, we'll all be exactly happy. Oh, yeah, right. Sure, uh-huh, exactly. Would you like some peppermint tea? Oh yeah, love some. That's my favorite. Unfortunately, we're all out. Guess we all love peppermint tea. Exactly the same. Yeah, sure, exactly. How about some peppermint ice cream instead? I love peppermint ice cream. Guess we all do. There's no more because do you like peppermint cake? Do you have any? Not anymore. Peppermint pie? My favorite. Mine too. What's going on? What's everybody doing? Why are you acting like this, Angel Cake? Huh? Who? I'm not her and she's not me. Ginger Snap? Over here. Blueberry Muffin? Over there. <laughs> oh, Strawberry, I can't take this anymore. I don't know who's who and which is what and why. Oh? and I don't know what to do. Rainbow just sort of seemed so different at first, and it kind of scared me. But I finally figured out, hey, I like her exactly because she's different. And now I got no idea how to tell her, and I want to tell her I'm so, so, so sorry. But I don't know how to say it. Hey, I think you said it pretty well, Peppermint. Rainbow, you're you, and me, I'm very sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Think you can give her another chance, Rainbow? Sure, I'd be glad to. So I guess this going away party ought to be a best friends party. Yeah! The very best friends. That's it, party time! <laughs> <laughs> I was gathering strawberries to make some super scrumple delicious treats. Mmm, red. Right, and ready to pick. Huh? Whoa! I'll thank you not to steal my strawberries. Find your own, will you? Pupcake will 
will never get finished if you keep eating them. Try the beginning. She uh, and then plus mm, on top of that, and the worst part, she's been robbed. <gasps> you know how she gathers sea berries at Seaberry Shore to make sea berry treats for you and all her friends. Oh, I certainly do. And you also know she's all alone. Just her and me and two dozen monkeys and nobody else for miles and miles. Only there is, but there isn't. Say what I mean? Well, not exactly. Not precisely. Not at all. Somebody stealing the sea berries. We need your help, Strawberry. Of course I'll help. Friends help friends. Coco Calypso needs help. Count me in, matey. The good ship Rainbow Float is at your service. And I love a good mystery. Can I come too? Sure. You know what they say. What's that? Mystery loves company. See, it's simple. As long as we keep heading ahead, we can't get lost. Land the hole! We're here! We're home! We're home sweet home! I'll go get Coco Calypso! Time to drop anchor! Give me a hand, mateys! Whoa! Uh, this is uh, heavy! It has to be to keep the houseboat from drifting away. Hi, everybody! Calypso! I want you to meet my friends, Rainbow Sherbert and Blueberry Muffin. They've come to help. Oh, thank you. Come on with me and I'll tell you everything that happened. It all started a few weeks ago, when I went out on the rocky point to gather sea berries, like I do most every day. Nothing seemed wrong. After I finished, it was time for some supper, then off to bed. <sighs> In the morning, when I went to bake some sea berry treats for you, <gasps> the berries were gone! A trail of them led to the lagoon and disappeared. Someone or something had stolen all of my sea berries. And every night since, the same things happened. That's why I haven't sent you any sea berry treats for weeks and weeks. Well, it's not going to happen again. If we can help it. Here's what I gathered today. They look lovely. Try one. Mmm, yum. Delicious. I never tasted anything like them. Because there isn't anything like them. They only grow in the waters off Seaberry Beach. We'll make sure nothing happens to them, even if we have to sit up all night. Right, girls? You got it. You can count on us. There. Now all we have to do is sit behind these palms and wait for whatever we're waiting for. I don't know how to thank you for this. I sure hope we solve this mystery soon. You can count sheep on it. I mean, sleep on it. I mean, you can count on it. So long as we don't fall. I'm so tired.
Or three. Oh, no! They're gone! We'll never have any more sea berries. Wait, look! A trail of berries leading to the beach. Just like before. Follow me. This thief is a sea thief. Ah! I'll never be able to make my friends sea berry treats again. <laughs> and no one will come see me. Not with some creature in the lagoon. Don't give up hope, Coco. We don't even know what kind of creature this creature is. Could be a put her there, glad to see you, not so very scary sort of sea creature. We're just going to have to find out, which means getting it to come back again, which means... More, More sea, berries. sea berries! Ready, set, heave ho! Now we pull the net in very slowly and evenly. Don't jerk it or we'll lose the berries. How very beautiful they are. Tonight we'll take turns staying awake and keeping watch. Ah, dinner time! Coconut juice and taro root crackers. Aren't you going to join us, Coco? Can't. Got a big surprise to share with you all. We're on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Hit it, boys! Life is sweet on the sea very shore It's paradise, who could ask for more? I got sugar white sand in a home by the sea There's only my monkeys, my parrot and me I can make my butt however I choose Play in the sun, take in the views Like the moon on the water, the stars up above of you, Coco. Hey, you can all move in with me if you wanna. I'll take the first watch so the rest of you can sleep. Strawberry? Does Coco seem kind of, well, lonely to you? <sighs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Rise and shine, Rainbow Sherbert! Uh, aye, aye, Captain. I'm so tired I could fall asleep just sitting here. <sighs> I know just how you feel. I 
isn't trying. <sighs> oh, no! It happened again! And there's another trail of berries. It's almost like this thing wants to be caught. Maybe it does want to be. Maybe we ought to take my boat out in the lagoon and look around. I don't see anything. Nothing except those dark clouds on the horizon. Could be a storm coming. Check it out, sea berries. Let's stop the boat and get out the net. Uh, how about a hand with the anchor? Mm, how about two? Anchors away! We got a ton of sea berries today. We sure did. Shiver me timbers. We'd better head back. A storm like that can move fast. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, dear. We've got to get back to shore. Whoa. Whoa. Give me a hand with the anchor. Uh, uh, uh. It's sort of stuck. We have to get it in or the boat will be ripped to pieces. Let's heave and ho. We better get back to shore. And I think I have an idea. When the berries are moved here, it moves this wire there, which will make this rope here pull the net up into this tree there. And this alarm will wake us up. This time we won't sleep through anything. <sighs> Trap! It worked! We finally caught it! Whatever it is. Watch yourself. It might be dangerous. It might bite. Or claw. Or breathe fire. Or something absolutely awful. Or maybe it's no monster at all. I'm going to let it down. Strawberry, no! <gasps> A mermaid! Where? Where? Oh, oh my! You're not a mermaid! <laughs> I never said I was! You're a girl! I never said I wasn't! I'm Strawberry Shortcake! This is Coco Calypso, Blueberry Muffin, and Rainbow Sherbert! I'm Seaberry Delight! I live in the lagoon! Hey! How'd that get there? That's our anchor. I thought you might need it. You mean you cut the rope? Well, you looked like you were in trouble. I was out on the rocks when I saw the storm coming in. I saw you were stuck, so I dove in the water. That's when I saw that your anchor was caught in a rock. I swam right home to get something to cut with. You see, you have to swim to get to my house. It's the only way in. My house is hidden from above, so I'm safe from storms. I went right back and cut your anchor rope. I hope you don't mind. Mind? You saved our lives! You live in the lagoon? Yep. But how come I've never seen you? 
I've sort of kept to myself. I guess I'm no good at making friends. During the day, I take care of the sea berry plants and gather the berries when they're ripe. I use them to feed myself and my friends. My favorites are the sea sweeties. They're about the cutest creatures in all the sea. But then one day, the sea berries began disappearing. I had to do something. My friends were hungry. Oh no! I thought you were stealing them from me, but I was stealing them from you! Coco was taking the sea berries to make sea berry treats. Would you like to try one? Mmm! Oh, they're very delicious. But I guess I won't be able to make any more. I have a very good idea. Maybe Coco could take a few berries less and share the treats she makes with the sea sweeties. What do you think, Seaberry Delight? I just know the sea sweeties will love these wonderful treats. And what's more, Seaberry, you can be a friend to Coco, and Coco can be a friend to you. Hooray! Yay! Yes! <laughs> More with a friend. When you say things like places you love, the sand at your feet or the stars up above, the sand feels softer, the stars are more bright, and the whole place feels just righter than right. There's a warmth in the air and a hug in the breeze that wouldn't be there if it wasn't for these new footprints beside me here on the shore. Somehow a friend makes it all mean so much more. A friend you can call. A friend. The shore. Friendships is sugar, sweet tree, and it's more. It's somewhere to count out, it's something to make. It's somewhere to run when you're needing a break. You'll see troubles fade, and you'll have a new view. Everything's made so much better by two. The tropics will be on the sea, very sure. You know, a friend makes it all mean so much more. One fine day on Seaberry Shore. I think it needs a taller tower here. Use some of my sand. If you use your imagination, it looks just like a real one. like a messy pile of sand. We're the sandy messes. Time for a splash. Yeah, let's go. Wait for me. I'm a sea turtle. <laughs> I'm a mermaid. <laughs> I can make the biggest splash. Watch me. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Why, it's a sand dollar. Wow. Beautiful. It's absolutely astonishing. Hey, it's mine. I found it. I just want to look. Besides, Strawberry saw it first. Oh, I don't care. You two can have it. Hey, here's another one. Isn't it the most amazing thing? I wonder if there are any more. I'll look there. And I'll look here. 
They are sort of pretty, I guess. Ah! I found one! I found one! And it's mine! All mine! I guess you haven't heard the legend. The what? The legend of the lost treasure. Will you tell us, Seaberry? This treasure's made of sand dollars, too. But these are pure, solid, shining gold. Really? But that's impossible. She's kidding us. Well, now I can't say how true it is, or it isn't. All I can tell you is what I was told once, long, long ago. It all happened out there, far, far away, and deep, deep in the ocean, where the candy coral grows and the sea sweeties swim, out in a land of sugar sharks and peppermint porpoises. A world of mermaids and creatures like you never dreamed. Whoa, Seaberry! Did you say mermaids? That's right. I'm just telling you what I was told. And I was told there's a whole sea full of them. Red-headed mermaids like you, Strawberry. And mystery-loving mermaids like you, Blueberry. And they all lived and laughed together in a magical place under the sea. But that was before. Before the treasure was found. Ooh, look there! Isn't it wonderful? It's beautiful. But it's just a shell. Tiny little, silly little shell. A wonderful, beautiful, tiny little shell. There are so many incredible things here. If only you take the time to look. Fish once told me about a whole lost mountain of them. No one knows exactly where it is, but they say it's somewhere dark and dangerous. Maybe we'll find it. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? Let's go look! Wait! They say those things only bring sadness and unhappiness. You don't really believe that, do you, Seaberry? Yeah, that's just a silly super tush. Stuper sish. Well, it's just nonsense. Come on, Blueberry. I'll look over this way. And I'll look that way. They are sort of pretty. Shall we look too? Why not? I found another one. I found one too! Wow, here's three of them. Everybody's finding them but me. Here! Now we can all have one! Thanks! Thanks, but no thanks. Hey, I... No, if I tell them, they'll come here looking for more. Hiya, Blueberry! Find anything? Nope, not yet. Nothing, nuh -uh. How about you? Haven't found a thing! 
Or maybe that's what she wants me to think. I have to watch myself. They could be following. I wonder where Blueberry and Rainbow went. I hope they didn't go in that candy kelp forest. There's no telling what's in there. this place to Blueberry and Rainbow. I wonder what could have happened to them. Looks like they've been this way. Come on. Could it be? Do I see? It's, it's gold. gold! And, and it's, it's mine. mine! I saw it first. After I saw it, did not. Did too! Hey, wait! Whoa, what are you two talking about? We're all friends here, remember? After all, this gold doesn't mean anything. I mean, you're not getting greedy, are you? Mine! Mine! Won't you come back with us? We found the most amazing place to play. We don't have time for that. Yeah, we've got gold to find. Oh, look out! Huh? huh? She says it's dangerous to go on. She says some sea sweeties got greedy for gold. They went down this path in search of treasure. <gasps> and they were never seen again. They're trying to scare us so they can keep the treasure for themselves. But I'm gonna get it for me. We better follow them. Huh? Did you see something? No. Did you? What is that? Whatever it is, it's big. We have to warn the girls. Rainbow! It's them. They're after the gold. Whoa! Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Ack, I'm trapped. I am so stuck. Help! 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 I think she's over this way. I never saw anything like it. Yeah, but I saw it first. It's mine. No, it's mine. No, children. It is mine. Uh, uh, you better let us go. Oh, but I need your help. It's taken me years to get this much treasure, but things will go a lot faster with a pair of mermaids helping. 
<laughs> What's that? I don't know, but it came from over there. That's horrible. We have to help them. Let's go. No, we don't stand a chance against those big fish. We need a plan. Funny, these things aren't so amazing anymore, are they? Not at all. Psst, psst. Over here! Huh? What? No, don't look. Don't worry, I have an idea. But we need some of those sand dollars. When that sea serpent sees this trail of gold, it'll give the others a chance to escape. How could they have missed this much gold? How's that? Uh-oh. A mer thief! After her, fellows! On the count of three. One. Hello. What Neptune's name is going on around here? Three! Ah! Ah! Great schools of squid! Ah! Hooray! We did it! Bravo for us! One for all and all for one! <gasps> it's a sea quake! <gasps> What's that? It's the sea serpent! My gold! My gold! Get out of there while you can! Oh! Can help! Come on, girls! Let's make a chain! Quickly now! Grab on! But, dearie, my hands are full! You have to let go of the gold, okay? I'm thinking, honey, I'm thinking. <gasps> oh, please, grab hold. You don't need that silly gold. Oh, all right. My gold. Oh, God, God. It may have been pretty to look at, but it's worth absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's not like it means anything. Hmm. You know, you're right, aren't you? It doesn't mean anything, does it? And you're okay. That's what really matters. I understand now, thanks to you. Can you ever forgive me for acting the way I did? If you promise not to do it again. Oh, I do, honey. I do promise. Then I guess we can forgive you. You truly are true friends. Uh-oh. I better check on my other friends. Friends? I have had an idea. From now on, no more bullying. We'll be sweet as sea berries. What do you think? <laughs> she says there are still sand dollars lying around and they're just going to cause more trouble. Maybe we should get rid of them. What do you say, girls? 
Absolutely. You betcha. Hooray! A friend can be worth her weight in gold and more. More precious each day than the day before. The time you choose to spend together with that friend is all it takes. A few treasures found down in the deep blue sea. First would have to be the worst of all mistakes. Can treasure hold me close? Can treasure comb my hair? Would treasure laugh at all my jokes? Does treasure really care? Do trinkets sit and chat? Do trifles swear they're true? Do golden bubbles make me laugh? They shimmer and they glimmer. of them, even the sea serpent, lived happily ever after. Hooray! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Or at least that's how the legend goes. What do you think we ought to do with these? I think there's only one thing to do. Where are you two going? Just a little something we need to do. Together. <laughs> <laughs>